Hey Cancer, what's up? <clears throat> so this is going to be a reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. <clears throat> Alright, Cancer. Now, overall I do feel that um, there's been an ending between you both here. Okay, something ended here. Um, now this could have been an ending um, or a change or a transition in your connection but I do feel overall there's been an ending out here. Distance could be a problem between you both is one thing I'm getting here. But overall <clears throat> with the chariot here I feel that this person here is now ready to move things forward in the right direction with you. Okay. This person here is um, heading in your direction. They could be living at a distance from you. They could be traveling, physical traveling, okay, uh, distance by car or whatever. But earlier probably this person was doubting themselves, okay. They were trying to control the situation too much. But now I feel this person here is ready to move forward swiftly towards you, wanting to overcome any obstacles that come between you both here, okay, any obstacles. They're ready to fight for this connection and they're heading towards you in a very determined way. <clears throat> With that here, I feel that there has been an ending here in some kind of pattern in some kind of attitude in some kind of approach okay so i do feel that things could have ended between you both here even if things didn't end between you both here there could have been something that may force this person to change the way they 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 act or the way they view this relationship so i think that there's a certain transition that they were resisting all this while okay that resistance has stopped and now they're going with the flow and they know that they need to shed a certain way a certain approach, a certain pattern that they were repeating in this connection over and over again, which was getting nowhere, they're letting it go, okay? So they do, uh, in their feelings, there is a certain, um, um, there are a few significant alterations they're doing in their, uh, in, their, in this connection, there's a significant change in this connection and uh, in their thought pattern, okay? Which is going to help this person come towards you and grow. With the magician here, I feel that this person here is now practically trying to manifest a new opportunity with you, practically manifesting a new beginning with you. Why? Because we do have the Ace of Cups, which is telling me that this person wants a new emotional cycle with him. Okay. So after things have ended, if things haven't ended for you guys, it's almost at the end. Okay. Things are slowly changing. Now this ending could be a little painful out here. It could be a little difficult for you and them both to go through this transition. But this transition is going to be very, very, very good for both of y'all. Okay. That is if you are still interested in pursuing this connection with this person. Because this person's ready now. Okay. This person's ready. If they're not ready yet, they will be eventually ready and coming towards you, okay? But they want a brand new emotional cycle with you. It's not very practical. I wouldn't say this person's ready to offer you commitment, but there's a lot of emotions over, overflowing, okay? So if this person was closed off, if there was unrequited love out here, if they were going through some kind of depression, you know, this person could also be someone who could be suffering from a past connection where they lacked forgiveness or where there was a lot of hurt and trauma, repressed emotions. <coughs> They're ready to open up everything. They're opening up their heart chakra, okay? And they're manifesting a new beginning with you. And the card that fall, fell out is the page of wands here, which is why I said that there is communication coming in. But again, uh, this communication is something that, yes, so they're ready to move things forward. They're ready to travel towards you. They're ready to fight for these obstacles here. But <clears throat> it is going to be very slow moving because the page of wands is definitely with ace of cups. You're someone who is flirty, right? But someone who's very adventurous, they're looking for a new way. You know, they're bored of doing the same thing over and over again. So now they're looking towards a new beginning. You know, they're looking towards something more fun, something more um, adventurous. Okay. But yeah, so that's how they're coming in. They're not ready to commit, but they definitely love you and they want only you. That's what I can tell you. What are this person's intentions? What are this person's current intentions towards cancer? What are this person's current intentions towards cancer? Three cards. We have four cards. Okay. No problem. Okay. Okay. Let's start with the good news first. Either you are already, if you are married to this person, this person wants to continue being in that stable and, and secure structure with you, okay? If you have gone separate ways after a marriage, this person wants to revive the marriage. They want to rekindle the marriage and they want to be in this marriage with you, okay? They don't want to break up. If you wanted commitment from this person here and they weren't giving it to you, they're now ready to give this long-term commitment to you. But that is in their intention, okay? Their intentions are to marry you. Their intentions are to... Uh, okay, that focus was awesome. Their intentions are to give you that stability, security, and commitment in this connection out here, okay? They want a reunion with you. They want to celebrate, okay? 
<clears throat> with a king of swords here, I feel this person here is being very cold and logical. Okay, so this person here, like for example, if you are someone who believes in twin flame soulmates, they don't believe in all that big shit. For them, they believe in what it is in front of them. They believe more. They're more rational. They're very cold, and uh, <clears throat> it's almost like they have the inner clarity. Or uh, earlier, they were very indecisive. Okay, but now they're using their head. They're using their logic, and they have the clarity about what they want. And the clarity, they, there's a lot of analysis going on. Okay, but at the same time, out here, I do realize that this person here has this cold vibe to them. You know, they're not in a very uh, emotional energy. So this person here is definitely not thinking emotionally. They're thinking emotionally in their feelings, which is a good place to be. But but in their intentions, I feel they're wanting to just be very very um, straightforward. Okay. uh they could come off as very cold and very ruthless to you but uh this person here is going to be very straightforward and blunt okay in their intentions here very truthful and honest communication with you okay now the bad news is that the bad news is that with the seven of wands here this person here is again very defensive so even though in their intentions is to marry you and to be long term with you even though they have clarity about the situation here they're very defensive they're trying to protect themselves okay they're trying to protect a point out here very guarded let's see why is the seven of wands here <coughs> Why is the seven of wands here? Either they're protecting this connection from other people, fighting for this connection, or they're protecting themselves, trying to protect a point. Probably they're just not ready for marriage, and that's what they're trying to protect. Seven of wands, please. I think this person here with the knight of swords here, this person here is um, in that very argumentative mode. So either there was an argument here, or they're trying to avoid an argument with you. Okay. because they know that whatever co communication that can happen between you both you guys could just snap at each other and things are completely going to go off the grid so i think they try to hold back communication okay which is why they could have blocked you out you could be still on their block list okay or they still could have blocked you off energetically but that's only because they're trying to avoid any kind of confrontation here this time around i feel this person here wants to approach the situation but not by rushing in but by being more of a um, slow and steady approach instead of feeling the need to rush in and jump in <coughs> and act without thinking they're wanting to think before they act and with the two of wands here in their intention is to you know they want to make a decision all right they want to make a decision what's the two of wands here <coughs> clap for the two of wands two of wands please what's the two of wands Yeah, so they are at a crossroads right now. Okay, yes, there there is a lot of love here. Okay, this person loves you. You love them. They're kind of if you have made an offer to this person. Now, offer does not mean where you propose them. Some of you could have, but this is more like you have probably kept on speaking about a certain offer, a commitment, or wanting to be in a long term relationship for a very long time. Then they're kind of thinking about it right now, watching and thinking about how they can go ahead with this. Okay, they're considering this offer, but there's a no action. kind of uh, intention from them right now okay they're just watching you okay they're just watching you from a distance trying to be very logical not wanting to get emotionally overwhelmed but right now the decision that they have to make is there at the crossroads about how to make this happen with you how to work this out with you so it's like you guys have already this is for the people uh, yes this is kind of relatively a new relationship but it's not brand new okay for the guys that i'm reading for okay this is not a brand new relationship it is a connection that is already started and it's in the beginning stages where they are thinking about how they can work on this with you you know they want to collaborate with you they want to work on this connection with you you know it's like a teamwork you know joint venture with you but uh, they're wanting a committed relationship but they're thinking about how they can make things happen how they can put in the effort you know to work it out with you both okay they could also be asking other people around for some suggestions or could be reaching out to counselors or something like that to solve the issue between you both but right now they're at a crossroads and they're very confident that at uh <clears throat> at a phase where they want to think about how to grow together okay and they're wanting to learn more about this connection wanting to learn more about you all right so that's what i have for you cancer hope this reading resonates leave your comments below and i'll see you in the next bye bye i'll see you in the next bye bye i'll see you in the next bye bye